six it's a uh, gonna repeat row two so only the difference in here is the adjustment here the changing okay this uh, 16 stitches okay so it's the same Re repeat row two so this is should be six double crochets then here is the front post long double crochet twist so first into the third then into the fourth then into the first to make the twist into the second And you have now here your eight double crochets, so normal double crochets in this part. Okay, so just uh, repeat row two. So now I'm just uh, making it more faster in this uh, time because uh, we are. This video is getting more longer and longer so now I'm just uh, telling what is in this part so I'm not elaborating more the stitches so eight here then this four this group so we're going to put front post long double crochet twist so when you're working the four stitches, go first into the third and fourth and first and second to make the twist of the long double crochet. Okay, so here normal double crochet. These two, just make a front post long double crochet twist. then we have the normal double crochet again here and this six so we're repeating row two so row two is making the twist in this six stitches for this group when you're working that the six stitches for this that front post long double crochet twist just go first into the third and into the fourth and now i mean into the fourth into the fifth and into the sixth these three first and then the first three to make the twist here first into the second just long post double crochet you know it already so pull through one pull through two and then pull through into the last two okay so here is normal double crochet i'm going to put normal double crochet and this is two so i'm going to put the front post long double crochet twist okay so i have now here in the middle the 16 stitches this group so here we have the normal uh, three double crochets okay so now we're only putting two one two and into the third we're going to put the double crochet together two loops left on the hook then yarn over front post long double crochet in this front post long double crochet from the last round then pull through one pull through two and then pull through on the three loop left okay so here on the last row we have eight normal double crochet so now we will be having ten okay so four six eight ten okay so first in this stitch 
So don't miss that one. Two. So next, we will be working the twist here. So yarn over, front post long double crochet together with one double crochet. Okay, so here two double crochets left. And now count your stitches if you have 16. Okay, 16 stitches. Now you have these two front post long double crochet twist these two okay and this is normal so you're going to put normal double crochet and this is we're going to work because we're repeating row two we're going to work a twist in these six stitches so first in this fourth one two three now this is normal so we will be working normal here and we have here the two so we just make a front post long double crochet twist and here normal double crochet and this is four so we're going to make the front post long double crochet in these four stitches So it's the same and the next row will be just uh, showing you only the changes which is only this part okay and now we have here in the eighth double crochet. Here is four, so we'll be working the front post long double crochet twist. Okay, so now here the last six double crochet. Okay, I hope it's clear already how to do your row 2. So this is we're going to repeat over and over except the 16 stitches here so that I will be showing you every row. Okay. Okay, so this is done. So this is already our row 6. Repeat row 2 for our row 6. Okay. So for row 7, it's repeat row 3 again. It's gonna be like this. Repeat 2, 3, 4, 3. Okay? Row 2, row 3, row 4, row 3. Then again, 2, 3, 4, 3. Okay? This is our row 6. And now we're go. this row 6 is repeat row 2. So row 7, we're going to repeat row three so again chain two turn work and again okay so this is the last time i'm going to show you this row three so you will be sure already how to make it alone 
then later i will just showing you how we will be adjusting this changing the 60 the stitches here okay First, the six double crochet. Chain two from this is counts as always double crochet. So we have here the four stitches twist. So first, back post double crochet nearest stitch. So this is stitch. So this mid. Okay. So back post insert go back grab a yarn three loops on the hook pull through two pull through two okay yard over into the next stitch which is this and make the back post double crochet so when you're doing the back don't do long double crochet except only making the part in this okay the 16 stitches okay here eight double crochet so we're going to put eight double crochet And this is four, so we're going to put four back post double crochet. So here, this is normal double crochet. Then we have the two twist here, so we'll be putting two back post double crochet one okay here normal double crochet and this is six so we'll be putting six back post double crochet and now this is normal double crochet and here again two so we'll be putting two back post double crochet so always work into the nearest stitch from your working hook okay now we have here the 16 stitches so this is the there is changing here so from the last row we have the two is two normal double crochets in this part so we will be putting only one this time and into the next this we will be working a double crochet together then front post long double crochet okay and here we have last row we have 10 so now we have we will be having 12 normal double crochet okay yarn over insert into that next stitch one two So in the next stitch, we will be working a front post, I mean back post long double crochet together with one double crochet. Okay, yarn over, go back into the this the front post long double crochet from the last round. You have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, 
two loops left on the hook then yarn over go into that normal stitch make double crochet pull through two then we have three loops on the hook left pull through three and now we have one more double crochet normal left okay so count again if you have 16 stitches so the dou double crochets and the back push long double crochets they count as only one stitch okay and now these two stitches we will be working back push double crochet okay and then this is normal so we i will be putting normal double crochet and here again we have the six stitches so i will be putting five six back post double crochet then normal double crochets here then again this two so only two back post double crochet okay then this is normal so we'll put the normal double crochet this is four front post long double crochet from the last round so i will be putting back post double crochet now eight double crochet again this four so i will be putting four back post double crochet okay so always like this just repeat row two then row three then row four then row three again row three is when we are working at the wrong side of the cardigan this the wrong side okay we have four and now we have this last six double crochet okay so our round seven is done so this is repeat row three now for row eight is repeat row four again okay so two three four three two three four three so that's where you be working now this is chain two again then for this time for row four so the only difference from row two for row four is here right you remember this is twist in the in row two and then row three the back pose and row four is making the only front pose double crochet no twisting only these six stitches this group okay and also this group so only two okay this and this this is only the uh, difference between row two and here every row is changing uh, it would be easier we just count so just decreasing here then increasing in this part so you will you will uh, use to it the stitches so now this is row eight and repeat row four for row eight so okay just do here on this part for now on i'm just only showing you how 
I'm going to do these 16 stitches here. This into the middle. This part. Okay? So, uh, I hope you already know how to make these stitches. Row 2, row 3, row 4, row 3, then 2 again, then 3, 4, 3. Just uh, go on to repeat that. i only going to show you now for this time the how we will be working in this between these uh, 16 stitches here i'm gonna do this part and later i'm going to show you in this part the beginning of the 16 stitches okay so let's do the this part and then continue here then just go alone with this part again okay so now we are here in the 16 stitches part okay so just to be clear okay so that or to be sure row four it's not twisting in this part okay so we are repeating row four for our row eight so now here we are here in the 16 stitches last time we have one one normal double crochet is here so now we will be having no normal double crochet so now we'll be working a double crochet together with the front post here so we'll be working a front post long double crochet together with double crochet so that's it and here the last time we have 12 okay 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So now we will be having 14. So insert your hook into this stitch. 1, 2. Okay, here now we have the 14 normal double crochets. So let's make the Front post long double crochet together with double crochet. Yarn over, insert into this. Front post long double crochet. Oop, yarn over, pull through one, pull through two, then two loops left on the hook, yarn over, then make the double crochet here, and then three loops on the hook left, yarn over, pull three, through three. And then this two again. So continue making this part, this side, okay? So it's the same, only the difference, row 4, repeating row 4 is not twisting in these 6 stitches. No twisting, okay? No twisting, no twisting. This 6, 6. Okay, that's only the difference between the row two and row four and every row this is this is only the one we're going to change okay so now continue here on this part and then i will be back again then we will be continue for row nine i'm only going to show you already only this part okay so row nine is repeat row three so just repeat row two row three four and three okay okay this is row nine so row nine is repeat row three so it's uh, the same process and now we are here in the 16 stitches so the last time we don't have a normal double crochet so now we will be putting one normal double crochet and into the next stitch we will be working up back post long double crochet plus double crochet together okay yarn over back post grab a yarn pull we have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through one then yarn over pull through two okay then yarn over go into this stitch and make the double crochet yarn over pull through two three loops on the hook yarn over pull through three okay so now here we going to put 12 normal double crochet the last time we have 14 right so now we are decreasing so we will be putting 12 
oh, we have two stitches left so we will be working back post long double crochet plus double crochet together so yarn over go into this front post double crochet so we will be working back post long double crochet then together with one double crochet in this stitch okay now we have one double crochet left make normal double crochet so you count if you have 16 continue again in this part till here row 10 repeat row 2 again okay so continue this and then i will be back showing you again to make these 16 stitches here okay okay so i'm back here in the 16 stitches so our row 10 is repeat row 2 so we have a twist in these six stitches here and in this part later now we will be working in these 16 stitches so first we will be putting two normal double crochet last time we have one so now we have two okay so just like this one two okay into the third stitch we will be working a front post long double crochet together with one door double crochet okay yarn over front post here one two then here three loops and the hook here we will be decreasing okay so last time we have 12 now we will be putting 10 normal double crochet so just like that when you are increasing here i mean you putting one two then here you will decrease two stitches okay so last time we have 12 so now we will be having only 10 then next row again 8 then 6 4 2 then 0 that is we will already in this part we 10 normal double crochet so the next stitch we will be working normal double crochet together with one front post long double crochet yarn over insert into this stitch unfinished double crochet then front post long double crochet here okay so now we'll be putting two normal double crochet and counts if you have 16 stitches and then continue again here so row, row two is twisting with these six stitches okay so continue then row 11 repeat row three again then i will be back showing you this part okay i'm back so this is row 11 this is repeating row three and now we have here we are now here in the 16 stitches so last time we have two normal double crochets here so now we will be working three norm normal double crochet then back post long double crochet together with one double crochet yarn over go into that front post long double crochet then into the stitch okay now we will be working eight double crochets okay last time we have ten now we have eight
Okay, eight normal double crochet. Now we will be working double crochet plus back post long double crochet. Done over in this stitch and finish then back post long double crochet together double crochet okay so we have three so we'll be putting three normal double crochet three then count if you have 16 then continue again in this part then row 12 repeat row 4 in row 12 is repeat row 4 so no twisting in this okay so we are here now in the 16 stitches so last time we have three so now we will be having four one two three four okay so next stitch we will be working a front post long double crochet plus double crochet together okay it so now we will be working six normal double crochet two four six so only these six stitches for normal double crochet okay six stitches normal double crochet so in this Next is stitch, double crochet plus front post long double crochet together. Then normal double crochet for these four stitches. Then count again if you have 16 stitches in this part continue row 12 then row 13 repeat row 3 again so you're working in this wrong side of the cardigan back in the 16 stitches so last time we have four so now we will be putting normal five double crochets five normal double crochets and next we will be working a back post long double crochet plus double crochet together so yarn over go back into the post long double crochet then make the front post back post long double crochet together with this double crochet and now here we will be having only six normal double crochet one two three four five and six okay Ah, no only four because we had only already six from the last row okay so only four here sorry for that so i'm miscounting so four in this part and in this next stitch we will be working double crochet together with back post long double crochet there Okay, then we have five stitches left so we will be putting five double crochet one. keep repeating and it uh, will be easier and now we will be working alone here 
to finish then we will be continue our row 14 for the next row so this is row 13 okay back here so this is row 14 and row 14 is a repeat row 2 so we have the twist of this here these six stitches so now back in our 16 stitches in this group this time we have five normal double crochets in this beginning so now we will be doing a six double crochets here Okay, so six double crochets and now we will be working a front post long double crochets plus double crochets together okay so last time we have a between four Double, double crochet is here so now we will be only having two and this next stitch we will be making us double crochet together with the front post long double crochet is here then six normal double crochet Okay, then count again if you have 16 then continue again till the end then next row 15 it's repeat row 3 again and then I will be back and show you how we're going to make here so this is our row 15 for the 16 stitches first we will be working 7 double crochet then the next stitch we will be working a back post long double crochet plus double crochet together turn over go into that front post double crochet make back post long double crochet not finished then in this stitch double crochet then together with the back post long double crochet Okay, so now we have eight stitches left. So next we will be working a double crochet plus back post long double crochet together. Yarn over in this stitch. So this time no more normal double crochet in between of these together double stitches. Okay. So unfinished, then yarn over, back post long double crochet, yarn over, pull through one, pull through two, then three laps on the hook, so pull through three. Then we have seven stitches left, so we will be putting this in a normal double crochet. count again if you have your 16 stitches in this part now we are ready in this part and then later we do the twist again here continue your row 15 this is a repeat row 3 so it's the same just finish in this part and then row 16 is repeat row 4 then i will be back and showing you how to make this part okay i'm back here i'm here now in this 16 stitches part so this is row 16 and repeat row 4 so repeat row 4 no twisting in these six stitches okay so to continue we will be putting last time we have uh, seven normal double crochet so 
now we will be putting again also seven normal double crochet seven double crochet into this next stitch we will be working a double crochet together with one post long double crochet in this front post long double crochet okay so not in this because we we will be working now the twist in this part just like here okay yarn over insert into this stitch yarn over pull through two then unfinish yarn over front post long double crochet here yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two and then last the three loops okay then next into this next stitch at the back of this this is there is a stitch here we will be working a uh, front post long double crochet in this and into that stitch okay yarn over insert into this to make the twist front post long double crochet and finish then yarn over insert into that stitch four loops on the hook yarn over pull, pull through two then three loops on the hook we going to pull all the three loops to make the twist in this part okay so it, this is this part now we have seven more stitches left so we will be putting the normal double crochet in these seven stitches Seven. then come again if you have sure your 16 stitches so this is will going to repeat over and over for these 16 stitches in this part now we're going to finish here this is repeat row 4 this is row 16 then just continue making your cardigan over and over just repeat it. two to row four i hope you already know how to do this part so just increasing in this side then decreasing in the middle when you are going up in this and then if you are doing it here you are decreasing this part and increasing in this part okay so i hope you already know how to work on this part just repeat the video if you are not sure or just ask me in the comment box if you have another question about it, if you are not sure and now just finish row 16 then continue until you have until you reach your desired size or desired length of your cardigan mine is um until row 51 this so i'm gonna tell you how many rows i'm going to make in this cardigan for this this my first uh cardigan the back panel so i have here row 15 okay i'm going to show you how long is this what is the measurement Okay, it's like 38 centimeter long okay 38 centimeter but this will be more longer because we will be putting a hem on the lower part and for the neckline so this is only example so 38 centimeters for my row 51 okay but if you are using a different yarn so the sizes or the measurement is different also just continue making the back panel just keep repeating row two three four and repeat how how we made this 16 stitches part 
it's uh, it's easier you just uh, count your stitches every time here the next we will be working only six stitches normal double crochet then into the seventh you will be working again the twist or the front pose or the back pose long double crochet okay so i hope it's uh, clear or already get what i am telling you for this pattern so if you have a question you just uh, leave a comment and just or just repeat the video over and over so you will get it it's very easy you just used to it the stitches so now i am leaving you in this back panel and then i continue my back panel and i will be back and showing you my panels done my back panel is done and this is how it look like so i end up also here until row 51 so this is how it look like this is the measurements of my back panel this is the low part and the upper part it measures 51 centimeter row 1 row 51 if you are making more than this or longer cardigan you should add more rows more than 51 and now we are gonna make the sleeves so this is my sleeves one done so this is how it's gonna look like and i'm going to measure it to you so this is 39 centimeters wide and 36.5 centimeters longer and this is slips if we are gonna fold it into two and then we're gonna sew this together the ends so this is how it gonna look like so if you are making longer or bigger than mine you can add more beginning chains into your beginning chains this is like 20 centimeters when you're folded into two okay so i'm going to explain it to you i sleeves i make it the 64 chains for my beginning chains and a total of 62 stitches until there and i end up here until row 35 my beginning chains i chain 64 so if you are making bigger than mine you should add more chains into your beginning chains and you should do the adjustment in this part i have only four double crochets here and four double crochets in this part so you will be making the adjustment in this part if you are making more longer you can add more chains and add the double crochets in this part or if you are making smaller you can decrease the chains and decrease the adjustment in this part okay what we're gonna do is we're going to group again the stitches so here only four double crochets and this the front post long double crochet twist four stitches then i have also this eight stitches for eight double crochets and this is six stitches for the twist and then one normal double crochets in between and this is two double crochets and here only 12 stitches for this part and then two then one then this is six and then eight and then two then four my beginning chain I chain 64 so if you are making longer you can add more chains and if you are making smaller you just um, decrease the beginning chain I have now here my 64 chains and for our row one let's make double crochet for chain from the hook 
one two three four so i'm going to start my double crochets here so for me i'm i'm inserting my hook and the back of the chains and this is first double crochet so all in all i have 62 double crochets a total when i'm done with my double crochets okay continue double crochets into all your chains this is the row one I'm done here my 62 double crochets now let's proceed for row 2 and as usual row 2 is the start of the repeating chains so we're going to start in this part so let's chain 2 and this is count as the first double crochets here and then here 4 double crochets so this is first then to the second chain or stitch, double crochets. Okay, I have now here my four double crochet. This is four. And then this next stitch here, this is four stitches to make the twist. So front post long double crochet in this four. So first in this third long double crochet and then front post into the fourth then front post back here into the first and then here into the second Okay, now this eight double crochets, normal double crochets. So on top here and the next is this eight double crochet. Eight double crochets here. Then next, this is six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This, and then we're going to start our front post long double crochet into the fourth long double crochets. So it's the same. Only the difference is the counts of the groups. then back into the first to make the twist then into the second then into the third Okay, and then one normal double crochet. Then these two, so that is two. then now this so it's the same method we are just uh, adjusting and then make the front post here this is only 12 so we're going to start one two three four five normal double crochet
double crochets here then next we're going to make double crochets together with front post long, long double crochets into this next so yarn over insert into the next stitch done finish then we're going to make a front post long double crochet here then next we're going to make a front post long double crochet together with one double crochet into this next stitch okay yarn over front post here then long double crochet and finish then on top of this this is the next stitch double crochet then continue five double crochets in this next stitches then you should have 12 stitches here then next again these two to make the twist so this is two then next one normal double crochet then these six stitches one two three four five six so here into the fourth long double crochet then back into the first to make the twist then into the second and into the third and again this eight Okay, eight double crochets done and then this next again this is four so we're going to make here then four double crochets Okay, so we are done our row two. Then row three, it's the same method like our front and back panel. So just chain two, then turn, then repeat row three. Just make the same stitches with this, and the twist is making a back post double crochet and normal double crochets six back post double crochet then here it's the same adjustment with our back panel when you are done five double crochets here into the last row you should have four double crochets then make the next double crochets as together with one long double crochets so just make the adjustment in this part so you know it already uh, what you're gonna do in this part you just adjust for example here we start only five double crochets then next is making the twist which is the together stitch here the double crochets and the front post long double crochets 
into the next stitch is only four normal double crochets then next stitch to make this adjustment then three then two then one then here no normal double crochets just make the twist so start then one two three four five then to make the twist again in this part okay so it's easier i know you know it already it's the same with our back panels only the difference is we only have here 12 stitches then here it's the same with the others so you know it already how to make it okay so just continue making your sleeves you're going to make two of these here i end up until row 35 okay so if you want more longer or bigger than this you can adjust more rows more than this and you can adjust your double crochets if you are making the bigger one okay let's make two of of this is sleeves so i have now here my first and then this is my all right i'm done with my sleeves i end up until row 35 and what we're going to do next now is we're going to sew this end so what we're going to do is we're going to fold this in a half wrong side out just take your yarn needle and long strands of your yarn so let's just start in here sewing them together these both sides until here just put it here into the first stitch just tie it here at the beginning to secure okay what we're gonna do is we just uh, take some loop here and another loop there at the side and just in and out in and out your yarn needle with your into the stitches okay so continue making this sewing them together until the end then i will be back all right i'm done sewing this and this is how it looks like this is the sewing part now what we're going to do next is we're going to make the cups so this is my other sleeves done this is the cup so that we're going to make so i'm gonna show you how to make this using our black and white we're going to use for our cups this is measures uh, seven centimeters this and then 23 centimeters long so first we're going to use our white yarn make a slip knot and into my beginning chain i chain 13 here so this is two stitches two stitches two stitches and then six stitches in this part so a total of 12 stitches we're going to do this is a half back loop only half double crochet for my beginning chain i chain 13 okay this is my 13 chains into the second chain i'm going to make a half double crochet yarn over insert into this second chain from the hook make half double crochet then i will continue making more half double crochet a total of six half double crochet okay then this six uh, half double crochet we don't finish then we're going to attach our black yarn like this just hold and just pull 
like that and just finish the half double crochet there and just hold your white yarn and pull it a bit tight then drop your white yarn then take your black yarn to continue yarn over and then make a half double crochet again to the next chain and then while doing that just carry your white yarn half double crochet then half double crochet into the next but before finishing it drop our black yarn take white yarn to finish then pull a bit tight the black okay then continue our white yarn then just carry your black yarn yarn over carry the black insert your hook in there and make a half double crochet then another half double crochet but before finishing it drop the white yarn take the black and finish pull a bit tight the white okay then continue with our black now we don't need to carry the white yarn because we don't need any more here so we just have only two chains left here so we're going to finish with this black with our half double crochet okay then chain one turn then continue half double crochet again but this time we're going to do is into the back loop only which is here in the back i hope you can see here because see, this is black i'm going to show you here into the white so here back loop only half double crochet yarn over back loop only then half double crochet then before you finish here drop black take white and finish with the white pull a bit tight a black then carry the black then we're going to work now with the yarn with the white yarn this is how it gonna work yarn over into the back loop here i hope you can see here so back loop only and make the half double crochet then yarn over again back loop then don't finish drop your white then take the black to continue here pull a bit tight the white carry your white then we're gonna work with the black yarn over back loop half double crochet then another back loop half double crochet into here then drop again the black then next white and we're gonna finish the it then pull a bit tight the black and now we're going to drop this black we don't carry now because we don't need any more in this part and then continue back loop half double crochet all to this six stitches okay so six two two then two and now we're going to chain one then turn again and continue here so i'm going to show you again into the back loop chain one is as a turning chain only so it doesn't count as a stitch yarn over insert into the back loop make a half double crochet Okay, here 
into the next stitch we don't finish with the black drop your white take your black yarn and finish it with this pull a bit tight the white then you're going to continue with the black then carry your black your white yarn over back loop half double crochet yarn over back loop half double crochet don't finish drop black take white then finish then carry your black yarn over back loop half double crochet yarn over back loop half double crochet don't finish drop white take black and finish pull a bit tight the white don't carry white we don't need anymore yarn over back loop half double crochet yarn over back loop half double crochet okay then chain one again turn work then just continue Okay, this is how what we're gonna do to make our cups so uh, make two of these for the two sleeves so I'm going to make one more so I have now this done so this is 23 centimeters it's about uh, 26 rounds keep repeating this until 26 rounds until you have your 23 centimeters or if you want more bigger than this you can continue your rounds okay i'm done with this this is 23 centimeters now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this and then we're going to sew this in these ends so just take uh, your yarn needle and just in and out again to sew this it's the same just in and out in and out I'm taking one loop here then one loop there And just finish then weave all the ends next thing we need to do is now is we're going to attach our cuffs into our sleeve so what we're going to do is we're going to put our sleeves into the wrong side out And then choose what side we're go you're going to put your cuffs they're here or in this side but for me it's uh, totally fine because they are the same what we're going to do we're going to align this uh, sewing part here and then this sewing part of our sleeve and then we're going to squeeze this to be aligned to our cups what we're going to do is take your yarn needle and some of uh, long yarn and then we're going to make like this just to help to squeeze our sleeve you can uh, use also your pin To do it but I prepared this so you can also do it like this just in and out just to help you squeeze our sleeves Okay, then I'm 
back here just like this now just uh, squeeze this like this just pull turn this into the right side again like that Okay, now we're going to put our cuffs inside. So this is the sewing part here and then this is the sewing part of our sleeve. Then I'm going to put like this. The white part is here going inside. sewing part then this is my sewing part so i'm going to align them together like this like that okay so we're going to sew this in this part take your yarn needle and your white yarn a bit long just enough to sew this together so what we're going to do is we're going to start in the sewing part and then the sewing part here so now this is into the right side out and this is wrong side when we are done we're going to turn this and then they are all into the right side okay so this you can see put it into the squeeze into the nice way that and then we can start now to sew this together just take a loop here and take a loop in this side just make a knot here or tie it here then just continue Taking a loop there, taking a loop in here, and then just in and out until you're done here. When you are in this part, if they hit, if you have this squeeze part, you can do is like this, put in here, then put another there, and then just go in there and then go into the other part okay so do all the sewing work then i will be back when i'm done this so it's going to be like this our sleeves and the cups together okay before you cut your yarn just make sure you're ready make sure it's okay now into the right side so just check it and then now this you can remove already then just uh, fasten up then whip your yarns okay what i'm going to do is going to tie this together and then i'm going to whip these two All right, we are done with our two sleeves. What we're going to do next is we're going to sew our three panels, the back and the two front panels. All right, so this is now our three panels, the back panel and the two front panels. So now what we're going to do is we're going to attach this together. So just take a yarn and then using our yarn needle just in and out in and out so they are in the wrong side out so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and 
then clip like that then our other part okay so now they are both into the wrong side out so this is wrong side wrong side and what we're going to do is we're going to attach this here into the first stitch of here and then until here and then also in this part first into the first stitch there until in this part okay so i'm going to attach this together and then i will be back now i'm done attaching the three panels the back and the front panels so this is how it look like this is still in the wrong side and this is how it look like to the right side okay so what we're going to do next is we're going to attach now the two sleeves so it's still in the wrong side out and grab your sleeve this is in right side out the sleeve so what we're going to do is we're going to put inside all right this we're going to this is the sewing work of the sleeve so we're going to fold like this this is the sewing work okay so this is the upper part of the sleeve so what we're going to do is we're going to insert here I hope we're going to see it well like this okay this is the sewing work of the sleeves okay so this it is in the lower part of the back and the front panels then cover it with the front panel like that okay so the panels is in the wrong side and the sleeve is in the right side okay so this is how it look like so this is how we're going to attach the sleeve and the panels together okay just remember the sleeve this is the sewing part so it's in the in the lower part and this is the upper part of the sleeve so it's in this part and what we're going to do is we're going to attach this we're going to start here down you can use a marker or a pin just to hold it while you're going to do the sewing okay just uh, start here then just go around in and out in and out using your needle and a uh, long thread of your yarn start here then just in and out in and out just go around here then when we are done attaching the sleeves then we're going to continue going down here until into the bottom of our panels here okay so that's what we're going to do also into the this part so when we are done in this part we're going to put this here okay this is the sewing part of the sleeves and then this is the upper part of the sleeve so we're going to insert like that we're going to sandwich them like that okay then we're going to start attaching and sewing this just go around like that then finish back here then continue sewing this until here into the bottom and it's will and it's done 
so that's what we're going to do so we're going to start here again i'm going to start here then go around like that until we're going to finish until here okay so now i'm going to attach the sleeves and the parts the front and the back in this lower part then i will come back okay all right i'm done attaching the sleeves into the panels so this is how it look like already okay so next thing we need to do now is we're going to make the hem part here so it's the same as this the back loop half double crochets all right i have here 105 centimeters to put here for the hem part okay so just make uh, 105 centimeters of this it's the same pattern from our cups that the uh, back loop half double crochets it's the same stitches okay so to get the, the measurements just spread your cardigan like that and just measure from here until there for me i have uh, 105 centimeters of this i made 105 centimeters okay just enough to put here okay so first if you haven't yet done this just do it first and then just attach when you are finished doing 105 centimeters or less or more than this it depends how much the measurements of your cardigan you are making so if you have already done your patch for the hem so we're going to attach this in this part in this side they're gonna be aligned together in here so we're going to sew this part until here into the end also so it's gonna be look like this and then i will be back when i'm done attaching this into the cardigan okay i'm done attaching the hem part so it's look like this this is the right side and this is the wrong side now what we're going to do next is we're going to make this so i already done mine so i'm going to show you how i made this and just take a measurements from here this part go around there until the neckline go back here then until here take the measurements of that mine it's 120 centimeters so i made 120 centimeters of this it's the same back loop half double crochets but only two stitches for this block then three stitches here then three stitches here Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make this. First, we need to do is make a slip knot. So obviously, this white first. Then, for my beginning chain, I chain nine. Then, second chain from the hook, I'm going to make. A half double crochet then two more half double crochet so this is a total of three for this white in this side then here before finishing your last half double crochet here we're going now to insert the black one just pull a bit tight the white then continue with the black then just carry the white here then 
then one more for the black then before we're gonna finish this black we're going to drop it and finish with our white and that is two half double crochet for the black and now we're going to finish these three chains left for our three half double crochet so we don't need to carry the black here because we don't need any more in this side okay then after you finish row one then just chain one this is only turning chain then turn then half double crochet in these three stitches then before you finish this take again the black one and finish it pull a bit tight the white then we're going to use now the black and then here you're just carrying the white and do half double crochet back loop then here before you finish again drop the black take the white and finish it with the white pull a bit tight the black then now you don't need the black here in this side so we're going to finish it with this black with this white okay so it's easy just chain one again then turn then continue three of this white then two then three so we're going to make like this you can you just uh, keep repeating this until you have your desired measurements or your right measurements for the neckline or the sideline border for our cardigan okay mine is 120 centimeters so already done that then i'm next thing we need to do is we're going to attach it into the cardigan when you are done your border line for our cardigan so just uh, put the marker so that they are properly distributed how much we will be needing in this side and in this side okay so in mine i have already put those marker so now what we're going to do is we're going to attach attach this into the wrong side so we're going to start here going up till the neckline then go back here so it's better we're going to attach into the wrong side okay so now i'm going to attach mine then i will be back when i'm done Okay, I'm back and I'm done attaching the borderline in this side into the neckline. So it's look like this. Now next thing we need to do is we're going to put the bottom. So I have three buttons I'm going to put in this part and in the middle and in this part. Okay, so three buttons is okay and then if you have uh, something like the stars to put in there at the back of the here the back of the sleeve so we're going to put this that so it's optional if you don't have like this you can make your diy stars so it's six stars so i'm going to put that also okay i will be back i will put the buttons in this part this is the right side when you are wearing it I will attach the buttons in this part and then I'll try to put these stars if I can uh, manage to put it then I will be back then that is the last thing we need to do and finally we are done with our cardigan so this is the final result this is the stars in the sleeves and the three buttons attached. Hope you enjoyed making this cardigan and you can tag me with your finished cardigan in my Instagram account. I put in the description box. 
hope you like this cardigan and enjoyed making it and hope to see you again next time and my next video tutorial if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please give a subscribe thumbs up and share this to your crochet body so they can make their tailor shift cardigan also thank you so much for joining me and hope to see you again happy crochet everyone bye